it's part two of this not everyone is nice let's start reading so i think we stop at this page and so we'll just turn it to here Mommy drove us to the police station. We went to the front desk and Mommy spoke to the policeman on duty. She said she wanted to report a stranger who talked to her daughter. The policeman wrote a lot of stuff down and then told my mom they would look into it. Whatever that means, when we finished Talking with the policeman, Mommy gave me a big hug and we went home. Later that night, after my brother Eric was asleep, I get to stay up later because I am bigger. Mom and Dad came into my room. Daddy had a big book about the ocean with him. It was very colorful and had lots of pretty f pictures of the sea and different kinds of fish. Mommy told me about the man in the car today, Daddy said. We both want to talk to you about what happened. Mommy said you thought the man in the car was very nice. I nodded, yes. He had a funny hat and a chocolate bar and a little girl the same age as me. Kelsey, my dad said, sometimes things and people are very different from the way they seem. Some people are not nice at all. Even though they may seem nice, they can hurt you. I do not understand, I said. Maybe this book will help you understand, Daddy said. He opened the book to a picture of ye a yellow and red underwater plant. You could tell it was underwater because there was fish swimming around it. What a pretty plant, I said. Daddy shook his head. It's not a plant, he explained. It's an animal called a sea anemone. It fools fish by looking like a plant so they will not be afraid to come near. Then, when the fish get close, the sea anemone eats them for dinner. Oh no, really? Yes, Daddy said. It gobbles them right up. Mommy took the book and turned to another picture. It showed a beautiful fish with orange and white stripes and big fins swirling all around its head like a lion's mane. It looks like an animal from the jungle, I said laughing. That's right, Mommy said and smiled. It's called a lionfish. Because it looks a little like a lion and because it can be ferocious and dangerous. You see, this fish's pretty fins are full of poison. If another fish gets too close, it gets stung. And then the lionfish gobbles the other fish for dinner. That is amazing, I said. I guess you sh should not pet it. Yes, for sure, Mommy said, nodding. Cassie, my dad said, even in nature, you cannot tell if someone is safe just by how it looks. The same is true for people. Some people may look very nice and act kindly, but they may be to fool you. Some of them can hurt you, like the sea anemone fools the fish. Yes, just like that, my dad said. My mom said, people may seem nice or look handsome or pretty, but they can be dangerous like the lionfish. So you 
have to be careful. Strangers may seem nice or say nice things, but they may not be nice people. You should only go to places and accept gifts from people you know very well, like your family, your close friends, and your teacher. Remember, Kathy. My dad said, "You can never be sure if a person is really nice just by looking at him or talking to him." What should I do if I meet another stranger who seems really nice, like the man in the car? I asked. Well, Kathy, my dad said, if a stranger tries to get you to go somewhere with him, just quickly walk away and ask a grown-up you know for help. Like my teacher, yes, Kathy, that is a great idea. The grown-up will know what to do and will be able to tell if the stranger is nice or is really a lionfish in disguise. I never saw the man in the car again. If I do see him again, or if someone else I do not know tries to take me places or give me things, I remember when my mom and dad told me about the sea anemone and the lionfish. I will walk away and ask the grown-up I know for help. It makes me a little sad that. Not everyone is nice, but I do know lots of people who are really nice, and that makes me feel happy. The end. Tips for children. Number one: When you go places or play outside, go with friends, not by yourself. It is safer. Number two: Before going out, always tell a parent or person in charge where you are going, who will be with you, and when will you be home. Number three: If no one is home and you must leave, always leave a note about where you will be and a phone number. Number four: Tell a parent, teacher. Or counselor, if someone makes you uncomfortable or afraid. Number five, do not get into a car with a stranger, or even with someone you do not know. When you do not have your parents' permission, walk away. Number six, do not let anyone touch you or treat you in ways that make you scared or uncomfortable. Number seven: Do not accept gifts, even small things like candy, from anyone without a parent or trusted adult. There to say it is okay. Number eight: Practice things you should do in case of an emergency, like calling nine one one. Number nine: Do not. Be polite to a stranger if you feel you are in danger. Make noise and try to run away. Number ten: Go to a security or the police if you get lost or separated from your parent while at a shopping mall or other public place. So that's all. And if you want to read this for a little while, you could. Or just hold it for a little while and take a look at this picture. Big words: ferocious, jungle, counselor, sea anemone.